This video will demonstrate how find patients and view information using Meditech EMR module. Let's get started. The topics that we will cover in this lesson are finding your patient in EMR viewing information in EMR viewing scan documents in the EMR. The EMR is the permanent electronic record of data entered into the computer regarding a patient's history at JBH. It collects stores and displays clinical and administrative data for patients. Some examples of the kind of information found in EMR. Lab results, order summary, radiology reports, dictated consults, histories and physicals, medication, profiles, patient demographic information, allergies, patient visit history, all ED nursing documentation, isolation status, scanned documents post-discharge. Searching for your patients in the EMR can be done in a few ways by location by patient viewing your recently accessed patients viewing patients that are associated with you viewing patients in which you are covering for. To search for any patient record you must enter one of the following two yield results, last name, first name J number health card number account number. The account number is the most specific way to find a patient. After you search for your patient you will be presented with all the visits the patient has had at JBH. The visits in the EMR have icons to help you identify the correct type of visit. A currently admitted inpatient has a stretcher with a green knot. ER visits have an ambulance icon, clinic visits have a thermometer icon and surgical daycare visits have a clamp icon. Visit information such as room slash bed, account numbers, admission and discharge dates could also be found on this screen. Now that you have some background information let's watch a demonstration of the EMR. From my main Meditech menu I will select EMR. I can either use my mouse to click on the menu item or use my keyboard to select the down arrow key until EMR is highlighted and press enter. Now you are in the main EMR page and are ready to search for a patient. Every time you launch EMR you are brought to the recently accessed view. Here you will see a list of patients that you have accessed in the past 14 days. The EMR will store 10 patients in this list. If the patient you are looking to view information for is not in this list you can navigate to the right side menu and select location. This allows you to view the full roster of patients registered to any location. If you want to see any patients that are associated with you, these patients can be found by clicking on any of the following options. My admitted, my emergency, my other. Patients are associated with you if you are listed as either the attending, admitting, primary care, family, ER or other physician. If you are covering for a physician and want to find their patients you can click on group and a list of physicians will display. Click on the box to the right of the physician name and then click on selected. This will display the list of patients for the physician you have chosen. Alternatively you can choose cover and then type in the first three letters of the surname of the physician whose patients you wish to see. Click on OK or press F12. All physician names that begin with the three letters you entered will display. Click on the physician name whose patients you wish to view. If you are wanting to look up your patients that have new results you can use the new results menu item. A patient visit appears on your list of new results if it meets the following criteria. You are the ordering doctor in the order entry. You are the ordering doctor in a radiology module. You are the submitting doctor in a lab module. The results have a completed status, please note pending results do not cause a visit to appear on this list. Finally, if you want to search by patient name, medical record number or account number on the right side menu choose any record. I am going to search for my patient using the any record field for my patient poster board. I can search by name in the name field or if I know the account number I can go down to the account field and search by the account number. Please note when entering account numbers all the prefix zeros can be omitted. For example I am searching for account IA00012317. I would only have to type IA123-17. Once you search and choose a patient you will then be presented with a list of visits in reverse chronological order, meaning the most recent visit shows on the top. 
If you want to view multiple visits put an X in the box next to the visit and then navigate to the right side menu select view X visits. If you want to launch into Clinical Connect select the visit and then choose Clinical Connect. This will auto-authenticate you into the Clinical Connect portal. If you want to view all the visits then select View All Visits. I will select View All Visits. Once in the EMR information is categorized into different panels of information. The menu for navigating through these different categories of information is on your right hand side. The colors of the panels indicate information about that data for example. Dark blue text on blue, means data is available to view. Dark blue text on white, is the current view you are on. Pale blue text on blue, no data is available. Magenta text on blue, new data available since you last viewed this patient's data. Clicking on the menu panel will allow you to access the information contained within it. When in the laboratory panel you may see colors or symbols. Before moving on I will pause while you review the legend for the symbols and colors. I am now in my patient poster board's electronic medical record. I want to view their results so I will click on the laboratory panel of information. Once here I can see that the laboratory panel is further categorized. Using the buttons on the top menu I can view my results in a grid format. If I want to see a graph of the numerical values click on the name of the test you want to graph and then click on the graph button on the bottom of the screen. To view a specific value of a point on the graph click on the point. I am now done viewing poster boards EMR and I want to view a radiology image for another patient. I will go to record list to search for another patient. The next patient I want to search is account number OX79-16. I will navigate to imaging to view the radiology image. I can see the date time of procedure, the exam name, the status of report. The report bubble indicates the radiology report is available, a green check mark will appear in the bubble once the report is viewed by you. If a camera icon is present an image is available to view. Click on camera to view and launch into PAX. Once you are finished viewing the image in PAX care stream ensure you close the window in the top right corner. Your Meditech session will still be active and open. Once you are done viewing information in the EMR press the lock button in the bottom right hand corner to suspend and secure your Meditech session. Patients charts are scanned 24 to 72 hours post discharge. All scanned documents are viewable in the EMR under the applicable visit or account and under the most appropriate tab. A general guide is as follows. Notes section, Nursing, Allied Health, and Multidisciplinary Progress Notes are found here. Order History section, All Patient Care Orders are found here. Other Reports section, Physiotherapy Documents, MARS, and Dictations are found here. Please note that Oncology Clinic, Fracture Clinic and all off-site outpatient clinics are not a part of the scanning initiative. Scan documents within the EMR are identified under the status column and display as an image. To view a scanned image click on the camera icon. To see the next document select later. To see the next page of the document select next page. To close out of the scan document viewer select the X in the top right corner. This concludes the EMR training. Thank you for watching this e-learning.